This could be one of the hardest games of the season for Brighton yet, and here is why. Roberto De Zerbi cannot believe his luck with more Brighton players going on the injury list. With one of the biggest injuries coming, Matoma going out for the rest of the season. He's going to be out for the last three months, and I just cannot believe the luck that Brighton are having with injuries right now. Let me just name every person that is on injury right now. We have Karuma Toma, Jao Pedro, Evan Ferguson, Julio Inciso that isn't still not ready to start in the team. Jack Hinchwood out. We have Billy Gilmore that's out with a red card. Of course, Solly March. And who do we have left to play in this squad? We might have to be asking Fat Boy Slim to come and see if he wants to play a bit of football. These Wolves fans are going to be coming in confident of this fifth round of the FA Cup. I mean, look at our injuries. I bet they're going to be loving every minute of this. It could be their third win in a row. Yes, they beat Tottenham away. They beat Sheffield United last game here at the Molyneux Stadium. What's going to happen today? Let's see. All right, we're here with some Wolves fans today. Shout out your names, guys. Uh, Louis and Levi. To see you guys. And uh, are you feeling confident in this game, knowing that our injury list is just insane? Yeah, uh, we've been on a good run of form anyway, to be honest. Incredible form. So, Could be your third win in a row, couldn't it? Yeah, tr absolutely trends at the minute. So your injuries aren't going to help either, but yeah, I think we'll, we'll, we'll scrape by. What's your injury list saying at the moment? Do you guys have many injuries? Uh, it's only Matthias Kuhn, you're absent at the minute. Oh, just Kuhn. A big player for us, but I think realistically we can do that. Yeah. The former in, I, I, there's not a team I'm scared of really, which yeah. could come back to bite me at the end of this, but... To be fair, I like the confidence to be fair, I, I'm always kind of like Wolves as well. Like, I, I love the stadium, I love all the architects outside, it's, it's really good. But as I say, what do you guys reckon today? Obviously it's an FA Cup match, makes it a little bit more unpredictable. Wednesday as well, it's a bit weird, isn't it? O'Neill said he's going to take it to Seriously, so it should be a strong lineup from us as well. We beat Albion in the last round, so I think taking this competition seriously now. To beat Albion and then go on serious running this competition would be brilliant. But right now, a good side from what we've seen. We got to the semi-finals with Nuno and, and then lost to Watford 3-2, which yeah. I don't like to remember. Oh my god, I remember that actually. Yeah. Him and Ed scoring a goal, he put like that um car Yeah, that. that was so cool, that was so cool. But guys, look, I appreciate it. Cheers. Really appreciate it. Good well, pleasure as good. always, thank you very much. Hey, we're here with some more Wolves fans in the Wolves end. Guys, what do you reckon about today's game? Score predictions? Uh, it's going to be a tight game today. I reckon it's going to be 2 all. I, I, I think it's going to be end to end. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going penalties. I can see it's penalties. It's anybody's game at penalties. That would be, be very interesting. Do you think you can go far, buddy? What do you reckon today? Uh, I think we'll go 1-1 one, one and either Neto or Huang will score. Any player that the Brighton fans should look out for today? Any big players we should look out for? Probably like Mario Luminia is okay. and, jo and Joao Gomez. They're really good in the midfield. They get all the tackles. And then like Pedro Neto yep. and Quang down the, down the flanks running at them. Absolutely love that. Boys, appreciate you coming on. Thank you very much, my friend. All right then, we're in the away end. It's not that busy, is it, Jackson? Not at the moment, no, no. One of them Wednesday nights. Doesn't quite feel like a match day, but look, here we have it. Wolves coming in with so many injuries, aren't we, mate? Oh my God, so many. I mean, look, looking at the squad, you can tell. I mean, short bench, you're having to fill it up with the youth. Might be good for them, yeah. but who knows, who knows. I still back us to win though. Yeah, you still go for it. I mean, FA Cup can be quite weird. So maybe it would be a bright thing to go and win the game, wouldn't it? Just when we don't expect it. What do you reckon, Jackson? What's your score prediction? The nervy 3-1. I can see us getting maybe a one or two nil leads. Yeah. And then struggling for a bit, maybe conceding one back and then just finishing it off. But who knows? I mean, Wednesday night in Wolverhampton, not an easy game. Hopefully, we can get something from this game, mate. Jackson, quality interview. You, Appreciate it, mate. There has 
has to be a winner today. Penalties, extra time is possible, all right? It is possible, but today, my score prediction's the big one. The hardest game, possibly, of the season. Here we are. I believe today will end up a 1-0 to the Albion. Not a lot of goals. It's going to be very tight, but we might just nick it. Sausage by the same. Come on, boys. Oh, hell no. Oh, Lord. Spillage. And there we go. to 1 nil Wolves. Jason still mate, that was pretty, pretty bad. Bad spillage from the goalkeeper. Should have been catching that. The odds was going this way though, wasn't it? The odds was going this way. Oh, did it, did it? Yes! Oh! Dipping, turning, twisting. Brilliant. Oh, please hit it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, mother. Come on, Ryan. Come on. Showing potential on, now. Potential. Yeah. Yeah. Two. No. That's a lovely ball! I'm worried though. The football. The amount of created chances we have though, we just don't score. Please, score, score one of them. Oh hell no. Not before half time. Oh no. Oh! Ah, Cameron Pavinion. He did good. Spin up Cameron. And now Danny Werbeck's on for extra firepower. Let's get it. That's not bad not at bad. all. Oh. Go on, Grace. Fatty, 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 fatty. Oh. At the moment, we're definitely the better team. Oh, Pedro Neto. Igor. Do it. Do it, Igor. Do it. Yeah. Yes. No. Uh oh. Oh, hell no. Well done, boys. That is unbelievable defence. That's incredible. Good stuff. Straight in. Oh, oh. Shoot, 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 shoot! Oh, Pedro Neto, no. No Pedro Neto. Oh, he's gone for it. Oh. Valentin Barco's just come on the pitch. Ooh. Let's see what Barco can do. So Barco, please, please. Yeah, please, thank please, you, please. man. Oh, so sorry, Charlie. Barco, please, please. Jason's going forward for the last corner. Definitely probably the last kick of the game here. It's all or nothing, fifth round of FA Cup. It's do or die. Gross to the corner. It's good. Headed. Oh my God. That was it. That was it. That was his chance. Boys and girls, boys and girls, as we see the, the fans are flooding out, going home after a, a disappointing really in the end. And I know we have a weak team, um, so a lot of you guys are obviously saying in the comments, we had a weak team and you know, if we had our players, if we had all our players you know, back off injury, then we probably would have got that. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie and say I'm not frustrated in it because at the same time, Seems to be a, this is happening a lot at the moment. We're having a lot of chances, creating a lot of chances. We just freak out the last minute. We just don't 
We just don't hit the ball in the back of the net, man. And I, I can't help but see, just be so annoyed about it. Like, it's so frustrating. We play such good football, but we don't get the results we deserve. But not, you know, it is our fault. It doesn't come down to luck. It doesn't come down. We have to get that ball in the back of the net, boys. We have to, all right? We really do. Anyway, and CISO coming back on, he doesn't look like he, he's rusty at all, does he? Uh, from, from what I'm seeing, he, he's playing fantastic football. Uh, Valentin Barco, uh, for his debut as well, um, coming on, he actually looked pretty good, pretty confident. He even took a corner for us. Uh, so that's good to see that he's playing. I did not expect him to play at all today, but I think Roberto was like, we got to try everything here. We've got to put everything on the table um, and give everyone a chance to turn this game around. No one could do it in the end. We got closer and closer and we came short again. We fell short. But again, we need to start better. We need to get a goal at the start. Start ourselves off. It's just so annoying. Yeah, big up me. <laughs> um, but look, man, I don't know. It's the FA Cup. It's not the Premier League. We're not losing any points, but it would have been nice to go to the quarterfinals. Wolves are victorious today, and like I said at the start, they were up the upper hand before the game with the injuries and all of that kind of good stuff. And of course, they got their home, and it's a Wednesday, and it, to travel, it's just a bit weird, isn't it? Anyways, boys and girls, ladies and gents, please do subscribe. Uh, turn the bell notifications on, really does help me out a lot. Um, and we'll see you on the next video, man. Next video will be very soon, of course, Saturday, Fulham away. So, yeah, here we are, Fulham, another away day. And then we've got Rome, can you believe? So three away days in a row. Let's hope we can go to Fulham and do something there, even though our record there isn't that good. Anyways, positivity, on to the next game, up the Albion. See you in a bit. Yeah, I enjoyed myself.